So let's discuss about the concept of a shell. Now, most of us have already used some or the other operating system and we have been interacting with the operating system. So the concept of a shell is primarily to provide a mechanism to communicate with the operating system or send across your commands or run your applications through some interface. Now, first of all, why do we need a shell? Let's have a look at this particular diagram, which basically is a simple representation and how an operating system layers around our hardware. So uh, we all know that hardware works on some electronic pulses and all. And uh, in general, in terms of computers, we say this is the communication is in binary zeros and ones and so on. Now, For a regular normal person or even a computer engineer, it will be difficult to communicate on that binary bits, zeros and ones. So to get work done with the computer hardware, we have the actual operating system, which is called as the kernel, which wraps around our hardware. So the kernel is through which all the interaction takes place to the hardware and vice versa. But to get some work done in an easier manner, our operating system or the whole Linux distribution or any other operating system provides us some commands or programs or applications that we need to run. Now to run these programs, we need an interface with which we should be able to launch these applications, commands or programs. So to get that done in an easier manner, another layer is added on top of the kernel, which we refer as the shell. Now generally, in terms of computers, whenever someone says shell, people assume that it is going to be a command line interface. but if we keep our minds open, a shell is an interface on top of the kernel, which allows us to run our applications or commands in an easier manner. Now, if the commands are to be typed from that interface, we call, call it as a command line interface, right? Something like uh, this particular thing, which you see over here, I can like run a command and it gives me some output. I can run the commands or applications from here. So this is called a command line interface. In general, most of the cases when people talk about, people refer this as a shell. But if you look at it in a different manner, or if you keep your minds open, the graphical user interface or the GUI, which is commonly referred as, is also a shell. So nowadays, when you use your computer, your kernel gets loaded and on top of that, a shell gets loaded. And this shell is usually a GUI based shell or your graphical user interface through which you are usually running your applications or command like this image, which I'm showing you right now is running in a image viewer, which I am running from a graphical user interface, fine. So usually from this diagram, you can see we have hardware, we have the kernel and to communicate with the kernel, send across our commands, our requirements we use the shell. So shell is primarily used for launching applications or running the commands and interacting with the kernel or utilizing our operating system and the computer in an easier manner. And point to remember is if you are using a shell, which allows you to enter and type in your commands, that is called as a command line interface. And as I mentioned, generally referred as a shell. And if it is a graphical interface, which most of you have already used, is called as a GUI. It's another shell commonly called as a graphical user interface.